So you got yourself a Marauder and you want some tips on how to fly it. That's what all this video is about. Let's dive in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Laura Murth here, digital advertiser, content creator, and even enjoyer for the better part of 10 years now. And I have been thoroughly enjoying my Kronos, let me tell you. We're going to talk about a bunch of stuff in this video. Let's not waste another second. First tip I have for you is bring Nanite Repair Paste with you. You can use Nanite Repair Paste, regardless of what module you have equipped, to repair a overheated module that has taken heat damage. Now, this is like a very niche example, but if you overheat something and uh, it, it has damage and you can't get back to a station in time, if you're going into low sack or wormhole space or something like that, good luck to you if, if you're in wormhole space. Sheesh. But you can use Nanite Repair Paste to repair your damage module while you're in space. You have an expensive ship. We're going to talk about this a lot in this video. You're going to be targeted. You're going to be hunted. So you need to be able to maximize the chance that you can do something on your time and not depend on something else happening. So speaking of consumables, you're going to bring some drugas with you, some things that are going to help increase your effectiveness and combat should the need arise. I think of two of these as like oh ship buttons, especially this blue pill here and the stand standard exile booster. These are going to be items you're going to use to increase your tank should you need to. And then this Frentix one is going to increase your optimal range. Uh, we have a video coming out, sub for that, about how to hunt Triglavians using this fit and using all things the Kronos. So definitely come back to that. But we use this mainly for that. But have consumables with you. Again, you got an expensive ship. Make sure you maximize the chance you're going to be able to survive any kind of engagement. Next step I have for you is augmentations. Definitely push it to the limit with augmentations make sure you go spend spend money spend your isk to have the best augmentations and implants you can go get i'm not going to show you my exact fit because well people watch these videos the point is make sure you get some good ones a uh, railgun focus capacitor focused um velocity focus i don't know armor focus pick whatever you would like spend some good money on some good implants that way you can push the stats of your ship to its limit you've got a maximized ship a cream of the crop top of the line act like it spend some isk okay Next thing we're going to talk about is the Frigate Escape Bay, an often overlooked thing in battleships and in Marauders. And this one's very important, okay? So you can put an entire frigate in there. Just a whole frigate. Slap it in. Any frigate. Okay, we have a whole video dedicated to this, so go check that out. Uh, the fits in that video. But what we... I'll give you a brief overview. We have healing in our Frigate Escape Bay. So we can heal our hull and our armor up, should, should we need, with uh, some drones. We've got scanning. So should we need to like pop out and scan something with our Kronos, we can just, we can just do that. We've got expand the cargo hold full of ammo. So if we run out of ammo, we're covered. If we have to scan something, we're, we're covered. If my hull is damaged, and again, I can't get back to a station, we are covered. So utilize the frigate escape bay in not just your Kronos or not just your Marauder, excuse me, but in your battleship as well. So definitely enjoy that and uh, make sure you put one in there, okay? Next tip is going to be have a travel fit. Understand how to use it. The, we're going to talk more in depth about the travel fit in just a sec. But the first thing we're going to talk about is a cloaking device and a micro warp drive. I'm going to show you again how to, how to use this in just a moment. But if you time a micro warp drive and a cloak on a gate at the same time in such a way that you are going to be able to go to warp fully from zero in a cloak state and not get ganked. Somebody just got ganked in system while I was filming. So <laughs> it's important that you use this. You're going to get hunted down. So make sure at minimum when you're traveling around with your Kronos or with your Marauder that you have a micro warp drive and a cloak device. We're going to talk more about the travel fit in just a moment. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on a gate. I'm going to show you how to use your micro warp drive plus your cloak to be able to safely go from spot to spot. This is when you're most vulnerable with your marauder okay so we're gonna just pick a ran i just picked a random sp uh, spot here we're just gonna align micro warp drive cloak at the same time so we're gonna align okay press micro warp drive and cloak at the same time you can see how we are cloaked micro warp drive is active we're turning off the micro warp drive and then as the micro warp drive ends i'm going to click on cloak to turn it off and press warp and with that you will instantly warp from where you are from a cloak state to warp immediately. That's how to do it. Let's get back to the rest of the video. All right. I know that was a bit of a fast one, but it's really important to understand that the interaction between the micro warp drive and the cloak means that as the micro warp drive uh, cycle ends and you end cloak, you can warp out at full speed without being able to be targeted beforehand. That's the point there. So it's really important to understand this because you're in a valuable ship. Again, we're going to say it a bunch of this video. That's how that goes. So let's talk more of a little bit about the travel fit. Okay. And typically you're going to see, I have three expand the cargo holds here. Uh, without an expanded cargo hold, you have 1275 in a Marauder. It's one of the best parts about a Marauder is that most of them, if not all of them, have big cargo spaces. So even a single expanded cargo hold is going to take that to 1625. I take 
two to three of these expanded cargo holds with me just in case that I run into some Triglavians. Again, we're going to have that uh, video. If I have a full cargo and I want to taxi it back, it goes up to 2k with a single expanded cargo hold and with three it goes up to even more. Now, two is, is enough. I normally, I haven't gone over two in a long time. I have third in my inventory just in case. It only takes up five as far as inventory goes. So that's not that big a deal. You can take it with you and do that. So typically a travel fit for me is going to look a little bit like this. It's going to look like this. Uh, we're going to do one more thing. I take out the cap battery. Typically, a travel fit for me is going to look like this. We've got the cloaking device. We've got, we never really take off the micro warp drive, but we got the micro warp drive. We've got the sensor booster to help me scan stuff down just in case I do get jumped on. I can scan like a frigate or a cruiser down faster. We've got at least one expanded cargo hold just to be able to carry more stuff. And the rest of the stuff that was in the uh, fit, I put into my inventory. All right, so we're out in space. We're going to be showing y'all one more tip here, and that's going to be how to use your D-scan and local to really like maximize the chance that you don't get found or caught with your pants down or something like that and how not to get scanned down too fast okay so it's important to understand with your bastion module that when you activate it it actually messes with you, with your signature radius to make you harder to find so harder to scan down and where i mean scan down is in the directional scanner okay and with the probe uh window as well so let me like pull this up so if somebody has probes active and you've got your Bastion mode on, you are going to be difficult to find comparatively to if you do not have your Bastion module and engaged. This means that if you spawn into a level four, okay, if this circle represents a level four and you spawn into the center with your, uh, with your Marauder and you Bastion mode up there, if somebody scans you down and they warp in, they're going to warp in on top of you. So really what you have to do is you have to use your uh, jump drive to jump away so that you spawn so that you are here and the person coming in is right here. So this is going to do a couple things. Your bastion mode is stopping you from being scanned down as easy. So you're going to be harder to scan down. So if you like miss a D scan or something, then you're going to be able to, you know, you have some extra time, but you're also going to jump away with your micro jump drive when you get into the level four. That way you're about a hundred kilometers away. So if somebody warps in on top of you, and if they're like popping in with some kind of gang squad, you're far enough away that you're going to be able to have some extra time. It's all about giving you some extra time. Okay. The final, final thing I need you to hear with this is that if you are in your Marauder and you're out in space, you need to do a couple things. You got to use your D-Scan. We say this every video. <laughs> it's really important to understand. You got to use your D-Scan and you got to use local. When you're in local, if you see a name you don't recognize, if you see like a corporation or an alliance you don't recognize, you can right click somebody, show info, check out their person. What's their security status? How long have they been active in an account? This is a shorter account. How's the uh, corporation? Do they gank a bunch of stuff? You can go to Z Killboard. You could do a lot of things with this just to check out to make sure you're good to go. Okay. Your D scan is going to be everything within this bubble, and this bubble is going to change based on this. We're going to have an entire video dedicated to directional scanner and how to use it. So make sure you sub for that. Okay. Uh, this is going to be your like sphere of influence. Everything in your sphere of influence here is going to be found, and you can see kind of what's coming in. We got a sun assist. This is a common scout gang ship, or, um, scout four gang ship. We got a nightmare. That's not going to come after you. Almost guaranteed he's doing some kind of mission. A gila. That's a little bit scary, but not depending. A crow is a gang ship. I think okay yeah it is but this is the kind of thing where you're going to be hunted and this is the final tip that i have for you when you're in a uh, marauder you're going to be hunted you are a value target you have to take these extra steps you might be saying loru a, a cloak an extra thing coming in here that's a bit much i don't want to do all that listen you need to take the extra steps you're the person that's going to be coming there they're going to be coming after you because you're you're in a you're in a big ship it's worth it it's worth it Marauder is one of my favorite ships coming in. I love flying them. Check out in the comments if and tell me what Marauder you've got. If you're coming to this video, I assume you are. Otherwise, what are you doing here? Okay, sub for more content. There's going to be a bunch of videos popping up on your screen, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.